Hey, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about hiking poles. Trekking poles, walking sticks. I use them. You know, some people don't. Lots of opinions out there. But did you know that there are peer-reviewed medical journals out there that talk about the use of trekking poles? It's all about science. So today we're going to look at what scientists think about trekking poles. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm just going to look at my notes. That's all I got. There's five medical journals here that have some great examples of the studies they've done. And we're going to talk about how, what their results were. So, check it out. In 2020, Wilderness and Environmental Medicine published an article that gave an overview of the physiologic and biomechanical responses elicited when trekking poles are used during outdoor activities. They looked at ground reaction forces, joint forces, spatiotemporal parameters, kinematics, electromyography, and balance. They found that trekking poles decreased lower extremity loading, but increased the cardiovascular demand. They also noted that when carrying a large external load, trekking poles may offer a benefit by decreasing lower extremity muscle activity and increasing balance and stability. Number two, the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research mentions that trekking poles are used by hikers for improved stability and it actually lowered the leg fatigue due to increased upper body movement. However, the weight of the poles and exaggerated upper body movement when using the poles actually may increase the total energy expenditure. The data suggests that trekking poles may be a beneficial tool by increasing caloric expenditure without increased perceptions of effort. That's a fancy way of saying that we're burning more calories but it doesn't feel like it. Number three, the Journal of Sports Science and Medicine found that using trekking poles while going downhill causes an increase in respiratory activity and energy consumptions. But what they also found that by using them on flat ground or going uphill, it's about the same if you're not using poles at all on your respiratory system and the overall energy consumption. It just didn't matter. Number four, a publication called Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise says that the use of trekking poles while carrying a load downhill showed a significant reduction on joint stress in the lower extremity with the use of trekking poles. Number five. The International Journal of Sports Medicine studied the use of trekking poles while carrying a load on moderate grades. They suggest that trekking poles do not significantly increase energy expenditure, but may provide reduced perceptions of physical exertions. Many people think that trekking poles just makes it feel like it's less work. Uh, the science says, not really. Okay, I'm gonna have the links down below to all of these scientific studies. You can go ahead and read all the facts and details and numbers and scientific -y stuff if you want to. But for now, I'm just gonna summarize all this stuff. Okay, using trekking poles while backpacking increases stability, it improves balance, it decreases leg fatigue, it increases upper body fatigue. Now, while walking on a flat ground or going uphill, poles don't seem to do much for you except for maybe balance and stability. With or without using poles, respiratory activity and energy consumptions are about the same when walking on flat or uphill. But there is often a perception of reduced physical exertion. And sometimes it's all in the head anyway. Most people think going downhill is easier on the respiratory system and you burn less energy. However, when walking downhill using trekking poles, there is an increase in respiratory activity and energy consumption as opposed to not using poles. Hmm. Now, older hikers will tell you that using trekking poles helps their aging knees. Well, this is true going downhill no matter what age you are. But going downhill with a backpack load, there is a significant reduction of impact on the lower extremity joints with the use of poles. All right, boys and girls, that's it. That's my study for today. Hope you enjoyed it. There's links, like I said, down below. Go check it out for yourself. And whether you use trekking poles or not, it's really up to you. I'm very comfortable with them. I find them useful. I use them for my tent setup. I use them for, you know, stuff. 
Okay, there's lots more where this came from. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I know you want to. Like, tell your friends, but most of all, comment. I, I am almost afraid to ask you what your opinion is about polls. <laughs> but uh, I am. I want to know what you, what you like, what you don't like about them. Um, they can get kind of expensive if you buy the really, really good ones. They don't have to be, though. All right. Until next time, see you on the trail.